Good morning, and welcome to Oakland University. My name is Michaela Gibson, and I am an admissions advisor with undergraduate admissions. We are excited that you have chosen to attend our Go for the Gold program. I would like to start off by telling you a little bit about Oakland University's history, academic programs, and campus life, in addition to our admissions and scholarship information. Oakland University was founded in 1957 thanks to a $2 million donation by Alfred and Matilda Wilson. We are a young university, which is very exciting because there is room for constant growth. OU is home to over 19,000 students, and more than 3,000 of those students live here on campus. OU also has more than 120,000 alumni worldwide. Nearly 75% of OU's alumni live here in Michigan. Oakland University has a beautiful campus of 1,443 acres and is home to Meadowbrook Hall, one of Michigan's National Historic Landmarks. Also, all of our academic buildings are centrally located on campus for easy access. Oakland University proudly boasts one of the lowest crime rates in Oakland County and the number one safest public university in Michigan and third nationally, partially due to the many safety features in use around campus. There are over 100 blue lights across campus which will connect anyone directly to OUPD dispatch. They also offer text message alerts which will send notifications directly to your phone in the event of an emergency situation on campus. Students and parents are both eligible to receive these and can enroll on OUPD's website. OUPD's officers are also on campus 24-7, 365 days a year. More than 3,000 students live on campus, calling one of the residence halls or apartments home. Hamlin Hall houses first-year students, and Oakview Hall is the newest home to the Honors College. We're excited about the opening of our newest residence hall, Hillcrest Hall, which houses 750 students and has a new cafeteria and a satellite recreation center. We also offer special interest floors, which offer social and academic support. Student involvement plays a large role in the lives of our students. OU offers more than 300 student organizations, including academic, social, Greek, political, and spiritual groups. The university regularly plans trips to fun places like New York, Chicago, or Boston. Our Office for Student Involvement also offers discounted tickets to various events and performances throughout the Metro Detroit area. OU has 18 men's and women's varsity sports. OU competes in NCAA Division I athletics as part of the Horizon League. The Golden Grizzlies have brought home 28 regular season titles, 77 conference tournament titles, and have made 55 NCAA tournament appearances. For more information, please visit OUGrizzlies.com. At Oakland, we encourage students to live, study, or work within a different culture through more than 180 study abroad programs in over 40 countries. For example, our students studying a concentration in archaeology can travel to Israel to see historic and religious sites that were covered in class, participate in an archaeological dig, and conduct groundbreaking research. Oakland offers 140 undergraduate programs and more than 130 graduate and certificate programs. These are divided into several professional schools and one liberal arts and science college. Please refer to oakland.edu backslash academics for more information. The College of Arts and Sciences is comprised of a variety of academic departments devoted to teaching and researching liberal arts, including the humanities, social sciences, visual and performing arts, and mathematical and laboratory sciences. The college offers nearly 100 majors and a wide range of diverse disciplines, such as actuarial science, graphic design, 
biomedical sciences, cinema studies, criminal justice, environmental studies, international relations, social work, and world music, as well as more traditional disciplines such as chemistry, English, history, philosophy, and psychology to enhance and complement their primary focus. Faculty in the college offer students opportunities for creative endeavors, research, and educational exploration that transcend the typical classroom experience and prepare students for a rich, productive life. It is not our mission to train you for a single job, but instead to prepare you to be successful in life, in your first job, your last job, and every job in between. We accomplish this by assisting you to develop transferable skills that remain critically in demand even in the face of technological advancements and social change. Through the transfer and construction of a knowledge base and through the cultivation of the habits of the mind, our graduates develop and mature into successful, productive members of society who can appreciate others, experience and embrace the notion of empathy, discover meaningful and productive careers, and come to understand the joys and benefits of lifelong learning. Whether you're deciding on a major or still exploring your options, the First Year Advising Center provides academic advising for all first year students, students who are undecided or redeciding their majors past the first year, as well as undecided transfer students. Your assigned advisor will introduce you to helpful resources and tools to assist you in developing a balanced schedule and making informed decisions about your major and future career goals. The Honors College offers a unique environment for high achieving students through smaller class sizes and special topic general education courses, as well as giving graduating seniors the opportunity to complete a thesis on a topic of their choosing. In response to the current COVID-19 pandemic, the Honors College has opted into test optional admissions for the entering class of the fall 2021 for students with a GPA of a 3.7 or above. Those students with above a 3.3 GPA must complete a separate application in addition to an interview for consideration. OU Presidential Scholar Award recipients are automatically accepted into the Honors College. Of course, all undergraduate majors are welcome to apply to this challenging, unique environment for high-achieving students. The Oakland University William Beaumont School of Medicine welcomed its 10th class in the fall of 2020. Students receive instruction in basic sciences and research at OU and take part in clinical training and applied research at Beaumont Health System. The school is a member of an elite group, one of just 141 MD granting medical schools in the country. Nursing Direct Admit is one of OU's academically competitive programs. A limited number of entering freshmen will be offered direct admission into Oakland University School of Nursing basic BSN track. Students interested in attending OU in the fall should apply to the university and submit a required essay by November 1st of their senior year to be considered for the Direct Admit Nursing program. To be considered for OU's Business Honors Direct Admit program, you must gain admission and complete a supplemental application. Although, we do recommend that you have your application in by December 1st of your senior year of high school. And, as I mentioned earlier, students wishing to study in the Department of Music, Theater, and Dance must gain admission to the university, then apply for an audition within the department. Students applying for the fall of 2021 can find audition dates online at oakland.edu backslash smtd. I'd now like to walk you through the process of applying to Oakland University. Applying is easy and the application is found online at oakland.edu backslash apply. The application is free 
and we are currently accepting applications for the winter, summer, and fall semesters of 2021. The average incoming freshman has a 3.5 GPA and a score of 1130 on the SAT or a score of 25 on the ACT. Typically, OU will admit first-year students with a 2.5 cumulative grade point average. For the fall of 2021, we have temporarily shifted to test-optional admission in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. SAT and ACT scores are not required for admission consideration for fall 2021. Students are still encouraged to send test scores if and when they have them for course placement or additional scholarship consideration. The test optional policy is under review for the class of 2022 and beyond. Our average incoming transfer student has a 3.1 GPA. Generally, transfer students with college credits of 24 or more and a 2.5 GPA or higher are admitted. Transfer students must submit all transcripts from every college they have attended. However, transfer students with fewer than 24 credits must also submit their high school transcripts. Scholarship consideration at OU is automatic. There is no separate application for merit scholarships. To receive fall scholarship consideration, we recommend that incoming freshman students apply and have all materials submitted to OU by March 1st of their senior year of high school. While scholarship consideration is based upon your cumulative grade point average and test score at the time of admission, students are welcome to submit updated transcripts and test scores to be reconsidered for scholarships. This chart shows our scholarship offerings for incoming freshmen. All of these are merit-based, awarded based on your GPA and test scores, except for the University Recognition Award, where no test score is required. You can find your GPA on the left and match it with your highest test score to find the scholarship you qualify for. Transfers should apply by August 1st for fall scholarship consideration, December 1st for winter, and July 1st for summer. Transfer scholarship consideration is also based upon the student's cumulative grade point average at the time of admission. Currently, tuition is based upon class standing, course, and course level. Different tuition rates also apply to courses offered by the School of Health Sciences, School of Business Administration, School of Nursing, and the School of Engineering and Computer Science, regardless of major. For more specific information and to view the rates by course and course level, please refer to the information in your bag or visit oakland.edu backslash tuition. University housing offers a variety of living options suited to your individual needs and interests. Housing rates for a double occupancy room for the 2020-2021 fall and winter semesters combined start at $10,639. More detailed information on housing and tuition rates can be found on the tuition rates flyer in your bag. For all newly admitted students planning to attend OU, we encourage you to activate your account if you haven't already. Activating your account will allow you to choose your net ID, which will act as your OU email. If you have been offered any merit scholarships, you will want to accept those by going to oakland.edu backslash scholar accept. Additionally, all admitted students are encouraged to register for new student orientation. Registration is available online at oakland.edu backslash orientation to lock in your spot in our incoming class. For those students attending OU in the fall of 2021, applications for housing are now available. Students may apply at oakland.edu backslash housing backslash apply. For students starting at OU in the winter of 2022, applications to live on campus are available beginning November 1st. I would also like to stress the importance of the financial aid process. To be considered for financial aid, students must 
complete the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid. The form is available every year beginning October 1st and can be completed at FAFSA.gov. Additionally, for those students who have yet to take the SAT or for those still planning to retake the test and are looking to improve their scores for scholarship consideration, we would like to remind you that the Khan Academy offers free SAT preparation for students. Finally, if there is any information that you saw today that you would like to learn more about, you may refer to the reminder email and you'll find all of our digital materials there for you to browse at any time. I would like to thank each and every one of you for visiting with us virtually. And I would also like to encourage you to register for one of our in-person tours to learn even more about the application process as well as our university. You may go to oakland.edu backslash visit to see availability for daily campus tours as well as other virtual events. At this time, we will move on to the next presentation. Hello, and thank you for joining us today. My name is Gregory Ash, and I'm a Senior Financial Aid Outreach Advisor with Student Financial Services. I'm happy to be here with you today to share some information about financial aid at Oakland University and answer any questions you might have. Today, I'll talk about costs to consider when attending college, how to apply for financial aid from a variety of sources, and the types of aid you will be eligible to receive from Oakland University, the state and federal governments, as well as private resources. Please feel free to submit your questions during the presentation, and I'll take some time at the end to answer them for you. When attending college, there are many costs to consider. Oakland prides itself on being a fee-free institution so the only billable charges you'll have are tuition and housing if you choose to live on campus. Even the laundry and toilet paper and housing are free. You should also expect to have expenses related to your education, but not billed directly by Oakland University, such as books, living off campus or at home, transportation, and living expenses. When Student Financial Services is preparing your financial aid offer, we estimate these billable charges and non-billable expenses, then add them together to determine the cost of attendance. Financial aid is intended to provide you options to pay for your billable charges and help to pay for your non-billable expenses. So the cost of attendance is the maximum amount of financial aid you are offered. In order to pay for college, students can be eligible for financial aid, including scholarships, grants, work study, and loans. In order to apply for financial aid, students should complete the free application for federal student aid, also known as the FAFSA. Most financial aid requires the FAFSA, and when we say file early, we mean it. The FAFSA should be completed beginning October 1st, or shortly thereafter, of the student's senior year of high school. Some financial aid is offered on a first come first serve basis. One of the reasons we recommend filing the FAFSA when it becomes available October 1st to apply for the next school year. You can file the FAFSA electronically on FAFSA.gov or using the My Student Aid app available for iOS and Android devices. If you have your phone or tablet handy, you can open your camera and point it at the QR code for whichever operating system you use. A banner will open when you can download the app. While there is a paper application for FAFSA, it is recommended you file electronically for a variety of reasons. Filing the FAFSA electronically is much faster for, to process. It takes just three to five days, and there are a number of security measures taken to ensure your information remains private, such as the data retrieval tool, which allows most users to upload their tax information right from the IRS website. The electronic FAFSA is also shorter and much more relevant to your household because it uses skip logic to eliminate questions that no longer apply to you based on the questions you've already answered. 
If you need help completing the FAFSA, Student Financial Services offers free private appointments for anyone who needs help completing the application. Oakland University Undergraduate Admissions automatically awards OU merit-based scholarships through the admissions process, so no additional applications are required. Student Financial Services automatically awards our need-based grants when processing the FAFSA. Every student who qualifies for scholarships and grants is guaranteed to receive the award. We are not limited to the number of students who receive the award. Annual departmental scholarships are also available through Oakland University Academic and Student Services Department for application and selection beginning due the student's first year. Oakland University offers a number of need-based grants available to students who complete the FAFSA and meet certain eligibility criteria. The Golden Grizzly Tuition Guarantee Grant is offered to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with the expected family contribution of less than $8,000 as determined by the FAFSA. The award pays the remaining amount of tuition due after subtracting the amount of the expected family contribution and any other gift aid. This award is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. The OU Golden Grant is awarded up to $5,000 per year and is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. It is awarded to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with a high school GPA of 3.0 and an expected family contribution of less than $8,000. The OU Housing Grant is awarded up to $5,000 per year and is renewable for up to four years or eight semesters. It's awarded to first-time freshmen who are Michigan residents with a high school GPA of 3.0 and an expected family contribution of less than $8,000. Students who receive the housing grant must live on campus with housing charges for a full semester that are not covered by another housing award. Student employment is also available at OU and may be part of the student's financial aid offer if they receive a work-study grant. Work-study and non-work-study positions are available at OU and the university employs about 1,600 student employees each year. Students are paid at least minimum wage. However, some positions pay more. Students are limited to a maximum of 25 hours per week during the fall and winter semesters. Students can work up to 40 hours per week when classes are not in session and during the summer semester. On campus and local jobs are posted on OU Handshake a platform that will grow with the student over time. Students can use Handshake to also apply for internships in their later years at OU, as well as professional positions when they graduate. The federal government offers financial aid to students, including grants, work study, student and parent loans. Some grants are offered on a first come first serve basis, like the SEOG and work study grants. One of the reasons it is important to complete the FAFSA as soon as possible on October 1st, the federal government also offers student loans awarded to the student in the student's name only. Parents are not co-signers for federal loans. The subsidized loan is interest-free while the student is in school and the unsubsidized loan accrues interest while the student is in school. Neither loan requires payment until six months after graduation However, there is no penalty for each repayment. A Parent PLUS loan may also be offered for parents to borrow in their own name. It is a credit worthy loan, so if you're approved and want to use it, you can. But if you're denied, the student gets an additional amount of an unsubsidized loan in their own name. It is an opportunity to receive additional federal aid without going to a bank or a private lender, which is, is often a more expensive option for student. The state of Michigan also provides financial aid to students and requires the FAFSA to be completed no later than March 1st in the student's senior year. The Michigan Competitive Scholarship is awarded automatically to students who complete the FAFSA and achieve a 1200 or better on the SAT. The other awards offered by the state require an application which is available through the 
My SSG student account. Students can create their My SSG student account after they file their first FAFSA. Private scholarships are also available through organizations, foundations, and companies, and students are encouraged to begin applying for these scholarships in the junior year. Students should apply regularly until they graduate from college to increase their chances to receive a greater number of scholarships. College Board, FastWeb, and Good Call are some of the many scholarship search engines students can use to apply for private scholarships. It is also a great idea to check with the high school counseling office for local scholarships aimed at students in the school or community. Some students may also have personal resources like a MET or an MESP or other college savings plans to help them pay for their education expenses. OU is proud to offer payment plans for students who choose to pay all or a portion of their charges on their own. Payment plans are available each semester a student attends to divide payments into four equal payments. Payment plans are interest free and students can easily pay with a checking or savings account. Credit and debit cards are also accepted and students are encouraged to schedule their payments to pay automatically each month. I hope you feel better prepared for the cost associated with college and more familiar with the financial aid available to you. To prepare for paying for college, there are a few things you can do even now. If you'd like to learn more about the financial aid process, please join me for a virtual financial aid presentation. Visit oakland.edu forward slash financial events for the schedule and link to join. Students and parents can visit studentaid.gov to create an FSA ID necessary to access and complete the FAFSA. Make sure you apply for private scholarships regularly to increase the number of scholarships you will use to pay for your education. Finally, make sure you file the FAFSA beginning October 1st of your senior year and every year thereafter. If you have questions after today, please contact Student Financial Services to speak with an advisor. We are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and are currently taking phone calls remotely. You can also visit our website at oakland.edu forward slash financial services where all of the information in this presentation is also available. You're also welcome to email our office at finservices at oakland.edu. Thank you again for attending our virtual Go for the Gold event today. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have. Hi, my name is Kirsten and I'm a career consultant for Career Services and a proud Oakland University alumni. I'm so excited that you're considering OU for your next destination. We're located in the heart of Oakland County and our students are surrounded by opportunities for internships, research, clinical work experience, and student teaching, leading to full-time opportunities after graduation. Oakland University has a community of faculty and staff dedicated to supporting student success. Over the next few minutes, our Career Services team is going to walk you through our services and offerings and how we can support you in seizing your opportunities. Hi, my name is Charles, and I'm an OU alum and proud member of the Career Services team. Our vision is for all Golden Grizzlies to achieve lifelong career success in a diverse and rapidly changing world. OU students learn invaluable skills they use to thrive and adapt, even in these unique conditions, inspiring small market to Fortune 500 companies to recruit OU talent. Fanic, Ford, Quicken Loans, Plant Moran, Beaumont, Blue Cross Blue Shield, General Motors, and Fiat Chrysler Automobiles are just a few of the companies you will see recruiting on campus. We give the students the tools they need to connect with these employers and achieve their dreams. Considering higher education opportunities is a big decision. Often, parents and students think about the return on investment of attending college. There is plenty of data available to support the importance of a college education, especially how it prepares students to succeed in a recovering economy. For example, of the 11.6 million new U.S. jobs created since the 2008-2009 recession, 
99% of those opportunities have gone to workers with at least some college education. College degree holders also earn approximately $1 million more over their lifetime. And finally, college graduates are 24 times more likely to be employed and contribute thousands of dollars more to their local economies than those with only high school degrees. Now that you have seen the national data, let's talk about the benefits of our location in Oakland County. Oakland County is the second most populous county in Michigan and is home to more than 1,000 firms from 39 countries. It has the highest per capita income in the state with key employment industries like healthcare, manufacturing, professional, scientific, and technology services. So what does this mean? Plenty of opportunities to gain experience through internships and experiential learning. In fact, we recommend students participate in two to three internships before graduating in order to be competitive in the market. Due to our location and strong relationship with local employers, our students gain access to opportunities that extend beyond the traditional summer internship and into the school year. Now that we have looked at national data and county statistics, let's talk about specific outcomes for Oakland University graduates. Here you see information from our first destination survey. The first destination survey is completed by students at the time of graduation to capture information about their next destination beyond college. Let's review a few highlights of this information. Oakland University students are prepared to take meaningful next steps. 90% are employed, pursuing continuing education, serving in the military, or pursuing other commitments such as volunteer or service program, or raising a family. 76% of our graduates have engaged in internship-like experiential learning opportunities such as research, clinicals, student teaching, and formal internship programs. Of the graduates who indicated they are employed, 96% are employed in Michigan. These employers place a high priority on recruiting Oakland University talent for internships and full-time opportunities after graduation because of the diverse skill set students acquire, along with their desire to remain in Michigan. Finally, students that are employed following graduation earn a median starting salary of $52,000, which is above the national average. Preparing our students to achieve these successful first destination outcomes in a lifetime of career success is a key priority of career services. Here at Career Services, we encourage students to engage with us early and often and empower them to achieve career success. We provide a variety of services such as one-on-one -on -one appointments with experienced career consultants where they can give industry-specific advice, tips for securing on-campus employment, career exploration guidance, resume consultations, and interview practice. We also leverage our strong relationships with the area's top employers to aid our students in facilitating meaningful connections. Career Services also offers industry-based career fairs to connect our students with internships and full-time employment opportunities. Year after year, employers praise Oakland University Career Services for our customer service and high-impact events connecting employers to talented OU students. We ensure our students have access to resources, event information, and a wide range of employment opportunities through Handshake, our job search and recruitment platform. Handshake gives students access to over hundreds of on-campus jobs, 6,000 internships, 23,000 job postings, and many networking opportunities with employers throughout the year. We hope you enjoy learning more about career services. We wish you the best of luck as you make final decisions about your next steps. We can't wait to meet- Hello, my name is Nicole Lucio and I am the Assistant Director in the Center for Multicultural Initiatives. In this presentation, I will provide an overview of our services including information about two of our primary programs, additional financial support we provide, and ways to engage with our office. The Center for Multicultural Initiatives, known on campus as the CMI, is here to provide support and advocacy for all students, particularly underrepresented, which are African American, Latinx, and Native American students. Through our diversity and retention programs, we work to increase retention and graduation rates and to improve campus climate. We connect students with resources, diverse programming, and cultural and social experience for leadership and academic success. One of our largest initiatives is the Oakland University Trustee Academic Success Program, which we refer to as the OTIS Program. This scholarship requires a 3.0 GPA 
and a 21 on the ACT or 1060 on the SAT for incoming freshmen, and a 3.0 GPA and 24 credits for transfer students. Through this program, we provide mentorship both for professional staff and experienced Oakland University students. We provide social, emotional, and academic support through our participants' entire undergraduate experience. This scholarship has several requirements outside of maintaining a GPA and full-time student status, which will lead to significant outcomes as our students outperform the general population and gain a sense of community. Former participant and alum, Jason Newman, shared that through the Otis program, he found something he wasn't expecting, community, accountability, and understanding for others. Our second largest initiative is our core program, which is a multicultural residential academic program that pairs first year students with resources that focus on their individual needs. This program is for first year incoming freshmen who plan to reside on campus. There is a summer bridge component and participants are mentored by a professional staff member and a seasoned Oakland University student. There is a registration process that launches each year in March. Core participant Jalea Gordon was a bit intimidated when she first came to Oakland University, but after being welcomed by her core ambassador, Kesia, she began to feel that OU was meant for her. Now as a marketing major with a minor in dance, she leads her own Group X class and is passing along her knowledge to the next generation as a core ambassador. In addition to the opportunities that I've just mentioned that are available as an incoming student, I'm now going to talk about some of the resources and programs we have available once you are an established Oakland University student. Two resources for additional financial support are the Retention Fund Scholarship and the Sharp Emergency Book Loan. The Retention Fund Scholarship provides assistance to students who may have a balance that they cannot cover after exhausting all other financial resources. Depending on the GPA, a student can qualify for a one-time award up to $1,000. The Sharp Emergency Book Loan is a $250 loan that can be used to purchase books at the OU Bookstore. It requires 24 credit hours and a 2.5 cumulative GPA. It is an interest-free loan that must be repaid by the end of the semester. Both of these resources require an application that can be picked up in our office or requested via email. The Keeper of the Dream Scholarship Award Celebration honors the legacy of the late civil rights leader, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and awards scholarships to students that best demonstrate exceptional leadership qualities through their involvement on campus and in the community by breaking down racial and cultural stereotypes and by promoting unity among all people to foster a campus environment rich in diversity and multiculturalism. The amount of scholarships awarded each year varies and the online application is typically available at the beginning of the fall semester and due in October. Throughout the year, we host a number of programs and events. Our Welcome Back Barbecue, co-hosted with the Association of Black Students, kicks off our fall semester each year. Our annual men's and women's retreat provide an opportunity for us to engage with students in an off-campus location to network and further develop leadership skills. We host weekly Circle of Sisterhood and Brotherhood sessions to discuss a number of topics that range from academics to issues we face as we navigate the university setting. Each year, our office assembles a committee to plan events to recognize and celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month and African American Celebration Month. We also host a senior transition series for students who are at junior and senior level to provide insight and best practices for transitioning into the workforce or going to graduate school. In addition to these programs, we facilitate diversity training in order to improve social justice awareness on campus for staff, faculty, and students. We also employ approximately 36 students in our office in a number of roles and provide extensive training in which they gain leadership skills and self-awareness. For more information about our programs and services, please visit oakland.edu forward slash CMI follow us on social media, contact us via phone or email, or feel free to visit us on the campus of Oakland University in 104 North Foundation Hall. Hello everyone, my name is Ann Jackson and I'm the Honors Advising Coordinator. I'm very excited to be able to share with you some of the highlights of the Honors College here at OU. 
Our philosophy is really to provide our high achieving students with a lot of additional support and resources every step of the way so that they can achieve their goals. And they do end up going on to do absolutely amazing things. They have a great experience. They love it and we love it too. But first I'd like to introduce to you our wonderful and amazing Dean, Dr. Graham Harper, and it's really because of him, his extraordinary leadership that we're able to provide a wide variety of additional resources. So Dr. Harper. <laughs> Thanks so much, Anne, and welcome everybody. It's great to be with you. The Honors College at Oakland University is really distinctive, and it's distinctive from the point of view is we like to see you as individuals as well as part of a community. So we really want to design an individual experience for you that can help you achieve all that you can achieve. And by that we mean we want to help you graduate in the top 5% of graduates from college. We also want to help you when you want to look for things like internships and research experiences and those kinds of things that involve us talking to you about what your goals might be and helping you get to those things. We have what we call an open door policy, so we're always available to you. And for a you know, high achieving and a gifted student, that portion is much more important than anything else. Just the fact that we're going to be available for you and that we're available for you all the time, uh, that's going to help you to, to reach those goals. So we really look forward to working with you. We look forward to helping you uh, get to your goals. We look forward to you graduating that top 5% of college graduates, which will open many doors for you. And we look forward to meeting you soon. So Anne's will tell you a little bit more about what we do. Over to Anne. Thank you, Dr. Harper. So now I'd like to give you just some highlights of what it's like to be in the Honors College at OU. First of all, it's nothing like doing honors in high school. It's not designed to be harder, longer, or more fast paced. And it's nothing like AP or IB classes. So most students find that as good news. Instead, we have a very creative and innovative approach to critical thinking and problem solving with our small classes and engaging professors. Remember, it's not additional work. It fits into the context of your major and university requirements. And being in the Honors College provides additional opportunities and resources and benefits. There's exclusive Honors College scholarships that you can apply for, which are in addition to any merit scholarships that you might receive from admissions. You get priority registration for your OU classes, extra printing money, access to special events, workshops, mentors, and leadership opportunities, just to name a few. And also importantly, you'll receive specialized honors college advising services, where we'll be able to create an individual plan for every single student so you'll be on track to meet your goals and be very competitive. If you'd like to join us, we're looking for a 3.7 or higher high school GPA, along with a 1200 or higher SAT or a 25 or higher ACT to automatically qualify. Your first step would be to apply and be accepted to OU. And then if you meet the criteria to automatically qualify, you'll receive an email which explains the next steps to register for our special honors college information session. If you fall a bit below our automatic qualification criteria, we still encourage you to apply to the honors college and you would also get an email explaining that process after your acceptance to OU and a link to the honors college application. We welcome you to visit our website and contact us anytime. We're happy to meet with prospective students and their parents to answer any questions. And we do look forward to the Q&A panel that will be happening. And we look forward to welcoming you as a future Golden Grizzly. Yes, we do. See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching University Housing's presentation. My name is Jennifer Bonardelli and I am University Housing's Recruitment Manager. I lived on campus during my time as a student starting back in 2010, and I know what a rewarding experience it can be. Today, we'll provide you with a general introduction to on-campus living. I'm going to touch on some of the key points about what residence life has to offer, and then we'll open the floor to any questions you may have. When you live on campus, everything is right in your own backyard. There's no commuter gas expense to worry about. You don't have to stress about finding parking before your classes. Just get up, get ready for your day, and take a short 10 to 15 minute walk across campus. Since everything is within walking distance, you'll have easy access to your professors, advisors, and other campus resources that you'll learn about as you explore OU. You'll have easy access to our Graham Health Center and Counseling Center, as well as a free membership to the University Recreation and Wellbeing. Plus, we have tons of social events right on campus, all right within your reach. Here in University Housing, we like to provide you with a lot of free amenities. 
We have free wireless and wired internet access. That wired access is perfect for all the gamers out there. We have free laundry. There's no need to carry a pocket full of quarters around. Just bring your own detergent and softener and you're good to go. We have free parking for all students. And yes, freshmen can bring their car to campus. We have a free computer lab exclusively for our residents, as well as other public computers throughout our facilities. And finally, the one that I think is most important, free toilet paper. Another free service we offer is academic support provided by our residential student success team. Their student staff, the academic peer mentors, provide tutoring both virtually and right within the residence halls. With a wide variety of courses to choose from, you can get help in all kinds of subjects. Michelle Appleby, the Assistant Director for Residential Student Success, oversees this program and is also a licensed counselor. You can set up an appointment with her to get help on a variety of topics, including how to navigate the transition from high school to college. A little fun fact for you, research shows that students who live on campus do better academically and are more likely to graduate. Here on this slide, you'll see the different floor plans that you'll find in Hamlin Hall. For the purposes of this presentation, I'll talk about the standard suite. This suite is shared by four students with two in one bedroom and two in the other, and they share a walk-in closet and have their own private bathroom within the suite. Other freshman living options include Oakview Hall, Hill House, and Van Wagner House. It's important to note that Oakview Hall is dedicated to admitted Honors College students. The double occupancy suite has two students sharing a bedroom, private bathroom, and a kitchenette space with a provided mini fridge and microwave. Hill and Van Wagner House are twin identical buildings. These rooms differ from the suites because they have community bathrooms for the floor as opposed to a bathroom attached to the suite. The community bathrooms are cleaned multiple times a day by our custodial staff. Some future living options for after your first year on campus include Hillcrest Hall, Oakview Hall if you are a returning Honors College student, Vandenberg Hall, either of our two apartment complexes, and if you are involved in Greek life, we do have some Greek cottages on campus as well. Our special interest floors encourage student involvement in very specific areas and areas of study. The business special interest floor is open to first year students pursuing a business major or minor. The engineering and computer science interest floor is open to first year students pursuing a career in mechanical, electrical, computer, and industrial and systems engineering. Finally, the health sciences floor is open to first year students pursuing a major or minor in health sciences or a related field. All three of these floors are located in Hamlin Hall. Each community provides special programming opportunities, academic enrichment, consistent advising services, and most importantly, a solid partnership between students, faculty, and staff. You can register to live on the special interest floor when you apply for housing online. It'll be one of the questions on your housing contract. Some future special interest floors to get involved in are our education floor and the International Village. The education floor is located in Hillcrest Hall and is open to non-first year students pursuing a major in education. One cool feature of this special interest floor is that the residents have exclusive access to a makerspace that has tons of resources for future educators. The International Village is located in Anvie Nicholson Student Apartments. Here we paired two domestic students and two international students in a four bedroom apartment and have programs and events that allow students to learn more about the different customs and cultures of all the different backgrounds. When you live on campus, you're able to eat at all the various cafes and dining halls across campus. Your meal plan is included in the total cost of living on campus, and we'll talk a little bit more about meal plans in just a moment. We have two dining halls on campus. One is in Vandenberg Hall, and the other is in Hillcrest Hall. They both offer all-you-care-to-eat buffet-style dining. There are a variety of stations in each dining hall with a wide selection of different food to choose from. Pizza, salad, fruit, stir-fry, dessert, cereals, international cuisine, you name it. We also have a station in each dining hall called a G8 station. These stations are free of the eight major food allergens, including milk, eggs, shellfish, fish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, and soy. Students that are allergic to any one of these can have peace of mind eating food from the G8 stations. All right, so meal plans. We have three different options to choose from. Option one includes 280 meals in the dining hall and 280 declining points. Option two includes 225 meals and 335 declining points. And finally, option three includes 165 meals and 450 declining points. Declining points are equivalent to a dollar. 
So if I went to Subway in the Oakland Center and I bought a $5 foot long, it's going to cost me five declining points. And one visit to the dining hall will cost you one meal swipe. You choose your meal plan when you are submitting your housing contract. If you didn't choose one, the default plan is option two. We often get asked what is the best meal plan, and honestly, it's personal preference. Do you plan to be on the go more often and want to grab a bite to eat on your way to class? Option three might be best for you with more declining points. Do you want to take a break and have more sit-down meals? Option one might be better for you because it has the most meals in a dining hall. Option two is good middle ground. You can always start with one meal plan for the fall semester and change your meal plan for the winter semester too. We have a meal plan change period that happens during the middle of the fall semester when you can submit your change for that upcoming winter semester. Some students may be wondering how they can go about requesting a specific type of housing accommodation to assist with an existing physical, medical, or psychological condition. All such accommodations must be approved by the Disability Support Services Office. After working with you to learn more about your needs, the Disability Support Services staff will notify University Housing if an accommodation has been approved. From there, the University Housing staff will work to assign you to your approved type of accommodation as our space permits. Because space in University Housing is limited, it is very important for you to start the process of requesting an accommodation as soon as possible. You can do so by contacting the Disability Support Services Office at the email address or phone number listed here. There are a lot of benefits to living on campus. You become immersed in the OU culture and are provided with plenty of educational, cultural, recreational, and social activities. You'll gain more personal independence because you'll be responsible for waking yourself up for class, doing your laundry, managing your own budget, finishing your homework, or studying for that test. We have a large professional live-in staff that includes the residence directors and the graduate residence directors for each building or complex. The residence life staff are an invaluable resource as you adjust to the college life, so you aren't totally alone. You'll be able to start hashtag adulting with our help. You'll gain new friendships with different people living on your floor or in your building, and we're here to support you every step of the way. We have lots of programs and events to attend, and here are some of the students' favorites. Casino night was always a blast back in my day. You get to gamble fake money for real prizes. And the prizes have been pretty amazing in the past. Things like fossil watches, large TVs, Beats headphones, fancy Keurig machines, and so much more. Midnight breakfast is a housing tradition, traditionally hosted in the spring, and midnight block party has always been a great way to get the school year started off. We also have over 300 student organizations that you can join, ranging from our radio station, WXOU, to advocacy groups, to the Muddle Quidditch League of OU, and at one point I was told there was a squirrel watching club. You can also start your own student org. Oakland University is ranked as the most LGBTQ-friendly campus in Michigan. We have our Gender and Sexuality Support Center located in the lower level of the Oakland Center. Their contact info is listed right here for you. They provide the SAFE on-campus training program. SAFE stands for Students, Administration, and Faculty for Equality. University housing staff members are trained and certified SAFE allies. University Housing also offers gender-inclusive housing, which provides the opportunity for two or more students to share a room or suite, regardless of the student's sex, gender, gender identity, or gender expression. Speaking of SAFE, OU is ranked as the safest campus in Michigan and the third safest in the nation. We give a lot of credit to OUPD for this amazing distinction. The Oakland University Police Department is our own dedicated police force. They have the blue light emergency phones across campus, so if you ever did feel unsafe for any reason, you can walk up to one of these poles and push the button, and almost immediately dispatch is on the phone with you. That and so many more services that OUPD offers can be found on their website listed here. University Housing has its own additional safety features as well. Nightwatch is our student staff security program. Nightwatch starts at 8 p.m., and staff members sit at the main entrances of the residence halls to ensure those entering the buildings are residents of OU. We have a card swiping system on all of our stairwells and elevators that lead to residential areas. Residents swipe their student ID to enter the residential portions of our buildings. Finally, we have automatic locking doors on all of the residents' rooms. So when you're in a hurry in the morning and you're rushing off to class, you don't have to worry, did I lock my door? Because it did lock for you when it shut. Just be sure to grab your keys on your way out so that you can get back in your room after class. We do have ways of helping you if you do accidentally lock yourself out, so don't stress. One of the most important things you can do when coming to campus is to get involved in some way, shape, or form. 
Here in housing, we have floor events and programs hosted by the resident assistants that you can attend. Or you can get involved in community council, which is a small executive board you can join to host programs and events for the building that you reside in. We also have the Residence Life Association, which is like the big sister to community council. They are the governing body for the entire residential population and also host large scale events like the ones I mentioned earlier. You can also work for University Housing. We are one of the largest on-campus employers with over 250 different opportunities. We do encourage you to submit your contract soon if you have not already. Contracts can be submitted at oakland.edu slash housing slash apply. First year students are assigned to housing in the order in which their contracts are received and validated. If you are under the age of 18 when you submitted your contract, you will also have to have a parent or guardian electronically sign your contract for it to be validated. We're also on social media, so make sure you follow us. And we have our own hashtag as well, hashtag OU is home. Hello, my name is Sarah Webb and I am the Senior Director in the First Year Advising Center. I am excited to share information with you about the First Year Advising Center and our unique services for students. Our office is dedicated to supporting the success of first year students through orientation programs, academic advising, and major and career exploration services. We pride ourselves on being one of only a few universities that have a center devoted exclusively to first year students. In fact, last year, we were recognized as one of two outstanding advising programs in the nation. I want you to meet Tyler, a typical freshman student. He started at OU pursuing a major he loved, but it required math, and he hadn't been very successful in that subject in high school. He was a little uncertain and still exploring his major options. Tyler wanted to get involved on campus, but he wasn't sure where to start. He struggled to figure out how college would be different than high school. We'll check back in with him later to see how things turned out. New student orientation is the first opportunity that new students like Tyler have to interact with the First Year Advising Center. Orientation is delivered in two parts, the first taking place in early summer. During this session, you will learn more about the campus, meet your assigned advisor, and register for classes. During part two, held the day before classes begin, you will be formally welcomed to the university during new student convocation and also participate in open houses for your academic area. The day concludes with an introduction to Welcome Week activities. Every incoming freshman is assigned an academic advisor who works with them starting at summer orientation through their entire first year. Through advising appointments at orientation and the fall and winter semesters, advisors serve as a go-to support system as you navigate your first year of college. Advisors guide and make recommendations related to course schedule planning, selecting a major, understanding university policies, and getting connected on campus. No matter what challenge you may face in your first year, your advisor is here to provide support and expedite referrals to additional campus resources. As you embark on your first year at OU, there are several goals to achieve for a strong start. It's important to decide on a major that fits your skills and interests. With over 140 majors to choose from, this can seem overwhelming, but rest assured we have a variety of resources to help you make an informed decision. Focusing on earning credits is also important. In order to be considered a sophomore by the end of your first year, you will need to earn at least 28 credits. This will help you stay on track to a timely graduation. Utilizing OU's many academic support services will help you become successful in the classroom. Earning a strong GPA from the start will be essential in establishing a solid academic foundation. And finally, we encourage all students to find at least one way to connect to the OU community. Whether it's joining a student organization, volunteering on or off campus, or participating in our intramural sports program, there is something for everyone. Let's check back in with Tyler after his time with the First Year Advising Center during his freshman year. 
He used our major and career exploration services with his academic advisor and is now in a major he loves. His advisor connected him to resources on campus that led to a job in housing where he is building leadership skills. He's found his place at OU and is confident in his future. Helping students like Tyler find their place on campus is exactly what the FIAC does. College is a new adventure that can be both exciting and uncertain. Luckily, as a new student at Oakland University, you will have access to the support and guidance of a fantastic team of both professional and student staff dedicated to ensuring your transition to the university is seamless. We can't wait to welcome you to OU. So my name is Mackenzie Bransky and I am a study abroad student advisor at the Office of International Education at Oakland University. I am currently in my junior year and I am a psych major and in the summer of 2019 I studied abroad in London, England for about six weeks through USAC. Hi, my name is Anna Luongo and I'm a study abroad student advisor in the Office of International Education. I'm a senior at Oakland University majoring in psychology with a minor in Italian language, and I studied abroad in Trieste, to Italy in the summer of 2018. Oakland University offers many different study abroad programs that allow you to get OU credit and OU grades that count toward graduation. Throughout this presentation, we will discuss where you can go abroad and how to start planning. So, who can study abroad? Typically, it's any OU student with a 2.5 GPA, although this varies on the program. Some might require a higher GPA, some might require a lower GPA. Some other programs also might require you to take a semester of a foreign language before you go abroad. It just depends on what program you're looking at and what location you're looking at. You do not need to speak another language to study abroad. We have a lot of programs that offer English as a language of instruction, as well as programs available in English-speaking countries, such as England, New Zealand, Australia, and Scotland. Some programs may have you take a one-credit language course, just so you can feel more comfortable with the language that you will be hearing abroad. We offer programs on every continent except for Antarctica. We also offer study away programs through NSC. So this could let you go to study someplace else in the U.S., such as California, New York, Texas, and so on. You could also go somewhere in Canada, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, or Guam to study away. When you're on our website and you're clicking Apply Now, it'll take you to Horizons, our site where you can make an account with us. When you're at the top, you could click Search Programs, and then it'll bring up all the programs that we offer. There are also multiple filters that could help you filter a destination that you want to go to or a field of study that you want to look into as well. We also offer OU study abroad programs. So these are faculty-led programs and you will be living and studying abroad with other OU students. I did this when I went to Trieste, Italy and I studied abroad with other OU students. I had a professor leading my program and it was a really great way for me to become closer with OU students, and I actually met my best friends while I studied abroad through the OU programs. These are our affiliated programs. JCMU stands for the Japan Center for Michigan Universities. Through JCMU, you and other students from other Michigan universities, such as MSU, would travel to Japan to learn Japanese language, culture, and so on. We recommend GEO for learning a second language. GEO often promotes staying in homestays while abroad and taking classes in the language you're learning while abroad, too. CIEE offers language classes as well, but also offers classes that you can take for your major. USAC is similar to CIEE in this way, and through CIEE and USAC, you would be traveling abroad with other students from around the U.S. I'm going to be showing you how to search programs on the International Education website. So first, what we are going to do is click Apply Now. Move this over. And then you will be led to a page that has you put in your student login, all that information that I'll be covering in a further slide. 
So what you can do before starting your account or anything like that is you can search programs over here. And under the search programs option, you can put in different filters. So let's say we want to filter by destination, which is a pretty popular thing that students like to do. So let's say I want to go to Australia. So I can apply this filter and the website will bring up a list of providers and different destinations in Australia that I can go to. So let's say I want to try uh, the first one, CIE January in Sydney. I want to see what this is about. So I'll get a picture, I'll get a little map to see where Sydney is in Australia, and then it'll just show me the different terms that this program is available. I can then go to the actual CIE website and see more about this program. I can see the application deadline. I can see the dates of the program as well. You can also see the GPA requirement. You can obviously click down here as well to see academics. There will be a little course list that you guys can look at. And you can just read through and see what else you might want to know about this program before deciding if this is right for you. And that's how you go about looking into programs on the new Oakland International Education website. How to access your study abroad account. So every OU student has a study abroad account. So what you're going to do is open your browser to the OU International Education website. Then you're going to click the Apply Now button on the right-hand side of the IE website. You will then log in with your OU email and password. Be sure to click the Current Oakland Student Please Log In Here button that I have circled in red with a big arrow pointing to on the slide. Then you're going to fill out the rest of your account information. And after that, you are free to browse study abroad programs. Paying for your experience. So all OU tuition scholarships still apply, as well as grants and loans. We have our study abroad scholarships available on the IE website, and there are also departmental scholarships available, as well as scholarships from our providers such as JCMU, CIE, USAC, and GEO. If you would like to learn more, please email ie at oakland.edu to schedule a virtual advising appointment. You can meet with me or Anna over Google Meet to discuss your study abroad plans. Our current walk-in hours are 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. Also, please know it's never too early or too late to study abroad. Once freshmen establish a GPA, they are eligible to study abroad summer of their freshman year.